Hi guys, I'm back for another video. As you can see in the title, I'm going to be doing a review today. And before I get started, I want to do a little update. I don't know if you all know that I got a blog TV recently, a couple weeks ago, and my username on there is XX Lost in Translation XX. And basically on Blog TV, what I do is I do question and answers. So you can ask me questions on Blog TV and I'll answer them for you. And that's a way for you to get to interact with me and everything like that. So it's pretty cool. I really like it. And I've been kind of going on a um, couple of uh, makeup gurus, their Blog TV, um, in the last couple of weeks. And I quite like it. But the only issue is I don't post um, a little video, even a 10 second clip, saying I'm going to be on Blog TV here on YouTube. I'm not going to post any sort of that kind of video. So in order to find out if I'm going to be on Blog TV, you have to follow me on Twitter. Even if you just follow me on Twitter, just so you can find out when I'm going to go on Blog TV, that's fine. And you don't need to have a Twitter account. If you're not a big fan of Twitter, you can just um, check out my um, postings and keep updated in what's going on um, with my life or even just to find out when I'm going to be on Blog TV. So that's and so that's that and today's review is going to be on a lip glass from the Liberty of London collection I know this collection is about a couple months back but I just recently got decided to get into it I wasn't in the battle wagon back then but when I, but now I am and it's too late but I actually but I ended up picking up this lip gloss the glass that I really like it is um, perennial high style this is what it looks like I really like the packaging how there's the white here with the flowers and here is it, you can see through the the packaging you can see the the color of the lip gloss and then there is the click the bird reminds me very summery very outdoors I really like the packaging that's one of the reasons why I got it and I wanted to get the one that was lighter but it obviously sold out and the only other one that was still at my store was the super super dark one that I would not wear in a million years so this is the one I got and it's not as bright as it is in the tube it's supposed to be a creamy bright coral pink but um I have it on my lips right now, and I find it really wearable. Um, I will do a swatch of it. I find that um, when you swatch it, um, it looks more like the one on the tube. But when you put it on your lips, I guess you smooth it out. It just looks the perfect color, and it's really creamy, so it's easy for an everyday wear. If you're just on the go, just want to put one color on, um, you can, this is the perfect color. You don't have to worry about it being too pink or too nude or too bright or like unwearable and things like that. It's quite perfect. For me, I um, prefer um, lip, glo lip glosses that have like shimmers on them. But um, but yeah, this is actually quite easy to wear. But it's quite tacky um, when you put it on. It's thick, so it won't transfer around. Um, so it will be a bit. It will be long lasting. I haven't tested out how long lasting this lip gloss is, but um, it should be quite long lasting. And uh, this is what the applicator looks like. The traditional doe foot sponge tip applicator. I prefer these type of applicators over the brush tip. Um, if you um like to know the difference between luster glasses and lip glasses, um in regards to like their brushes, like the applicators and other things like that. I do have a video of it, MAC lip glasses versus lip, um, luster glasses, so go check that out if you're kind of just new into um, um, MAC lip products and things like that. But for this product, I would give it about a 4 out of 5. It is really great uh, to wear. Um, I wouldn't necessarily wear it over a lip um, stick because I find um, Lipsticks are sometimes I find creamy. They're like cream, creamier formulations. So over top, I like to put like more of a um, gloss that has more shimmers and things like that. So I would this one I would just wear on its own. That's what I'll wear. But if you do wear it over a lipstick, it depends on the color of your lipstick. It really makes a difference. I was wearing a nude lipstick the other day, and I put this on, and it was really nice color. I can't really describe the color to you. But my mom was wearing a more pinky, mauve lipstick, and she put this over, and it was just totally different. Like, it looks great on her. It looks great on my lips, what my combination I did. So it really, it's really versatile. And um, if you still can, try to get hold of this if you haven't already got one. Um, I think they still sell it on the MAC website, um, so go check that out. So yeah, this is the review. I hope it really helps you and, and you really enjoy it. And I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye for now.